Hey everyone, it's Jenny from Homestead Corner. When the grid goes down and the lighters run out, you still need to be able to start a fire. So today, we're gonna light one up. Okay, so I just went out into the woods and just grabbed a couple of leaves. These are just some dry old leaves kicking around. Around the base of the trees you can usually find some leaves and wherever you want them to be fairly dry. And then this, if you're in a grassy area, you can um, just rub your hands on the, on the dead grass. If you can find a dead grassy area and you're going to get this, which is great tinder. So we're just going to put this in a little ball here kind of like a little nest I'm gonna put my fingers in a hole in here and we're gonna scrape we're gonna put it right on top of our leaves so it's easy to pick up because we're gonna have to blow on this and we're gonna use just a fire starter today I'm gonna throw my hair up so we don't light it on fire so you're just gonna take your fire starter and you're gonna scrape a little bit of this magnesium off into right into the nest. You get little shavings in there. And then once you've got a nice little pile and you can see a couple in there, you're just gonna spark it. And as soon as that sparks, we're gonna bring it over to the fire. And I've just put some rocks real close here together to hold my pan up. We're going to take some of these little teeny dry branches. And put them right on top. You want to start with these real tiny ones and once you can get them going and they're lit up you can add increasingly go up in size to a little bit thicker until you get to nice little branches all right so as you get it going you're just going to add the bigger sticks so you can get a nice set of coals we're going to let this burn a little bit and let her get nice and hot. All right, so we're just gonna whip up a little mountain house breakfast skillet here on our fire. And I've got just a small enamel pot that I keep in my bug out bag. We're gonna put about a cup, cup and a quarter it calls for. I'm gonna save about four ounces of this. We're gonna just put this right on. Leave these sticks out a little bit so we can poke at it and keep those flames going. We just want to bring this water up to a boil and we're gonna get that done.
can hear the hawks hovering around up above. Little squeaking high pitch noise. It's a beautiful day outside today. Okay, so when you're dealing with a fire this small and you've got limited resources, you really want to stay on top of this. You don't want to you don't want to walk away from it. You want to stick with it. If you're going to do a big fire and you've got tons of wood and you know resources, then I guess that's that's a little different. You don't have to stay right with it. It's once you get it going, it's going to stay going. But these little fires, you really need to stay on it and pay attention because it can go out really easily. And this is just about boiling, so we're just going to let it get to a nice rolling boil, and then we'll make some breakfast. Okay, so we got a nice little boil on our water, and we're going to, I'm going to make this mountain house breakfast, and you just want to make sure you get this little oxygen absorber out. You don't want to eat that. It's nasty. So we're just going to take about a cup and a quarter. I don't have a pot holder here, so I'm just going to wind up my shirt. This pan's kind of hot. And we're just going to pour this in. A little bit of ash in that water, but honestly, it's the least of your worries right now. We're just going to give this a good stir, and it says to zip it up and let it sit for five minutes. Make it buddies out here while we're cooking. Okay, so we have been waiting for our breakfast. Let's try this out and see how it is. I've never had a mountain house meal. Um, I've had a few other freeze-dried little meals and I was not totally in love with them. <laughs> wow. Kind of surprised. This is a serving for two people. And there's quite a bit in here. You can see there's quite a lot of food in here. I'm not sure if you can see in the bag at the right angle or not. But there's quite a bit in there. So definitely make sure you got two spoons so you can share. And this isn't horrible. This breakfast skillet is probably the best freeze-dried pre-made meal that I've ever had. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Mm, it's good. I definitely buy more of these for emergencies. Not bad. They're kind of expensive, but four bu uh, eight bucks for two people is not too horrible. And all it takes is a little water and a little fire. So definitely when you're making a fire, especially if you've got a small amount of resources that you're making a small fire just to boil water, you want to stay right on top of it because it can go out really easily and you can lose your fire and have to start fresh again. You don't want to do that. So definitely stick with it. If you're doing a larger fire, you have more resources, then it's a lot easier to keep it going once you get it going. But that's it for today. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.